All right, welcome to episode four of a show with no name. Uh, we are going to talk about what I think is the best episode this season. Ooh, I, I honestly haven't ranked okay. what I thought was the best episode. Maybe it's enough. recency bias because we just saw it, but Maybe. I think the combination of storytelling and back to the human element, the human evil element, like mm -hmm. Cersei, it oh, was, okay. I think it was really good. But Cersei. I do have <laughs> a list of negatives. So, uh, I have a pretty big quite list the of list. negatives. I was going to say, that's quite the list for one I of the best se or episodes like, of the season. I know. I feel <laughs> like I should stay off of Twitter and Reddit after the episodes because it's kind of ruining it for me. It has a lot of people who know the books nitpicking at it, for sure. And that's what especially Reddit is known for. And I feel like there's validity to a lot of it. Mm -hmm. And I think it's mainly the creator's fault. So they said, all right, we're done with the show. Let's give ourselves a season and a half. They said this like after season six. Mm -hmm. All right, this will be the last two seasons. Would we have seven episodes, season seven, and now six, this one? Mm -hmm. They're just not doing themselves any favors. So all the flack that they're getting maybe they knew they were going to get it because they started getting it in season five and six yeah because that's around the time when they started trailing off from the books yes and once they started trailing off from the books maybe they were like we didn't sign up for this fan fiction thing we want to go buy the books that's true it is kind of like fan yeah it's fiction fan fiction because they have <laughs> they're going off of nothing except what George R. R. Martin's spoiling for them. Yeah, like, like he gave them a couple of ideas and then they fill in the gaps, essentially. Yeah, um, We finally got a death in this episode. Yes. And I'm glad. A death that people like... So we almost got a lot of deaths earlier on that scared me. Mm. When Bronn storms into the room, I was like, I was oh, happy. Oh, yeah. I was really happy. I was like, yes, Bronn! And then he starts, you know, his perfect... Uh, dialogue between the three and I'm a big Braun fan mm -hmm. and when he sh fired the shot next to Jamie's head I was like oh god this is real Braun actually is pissed and he will do anything for his castle oh yeah because they all promised him so many times like Jamie promised him a castle where's his castle you know and then now his sister what is she promising him uh she, river run river run yeah. yes so and now he's going to be getting um high garden high garden which was Depending on who wins, he's going to get either River Run or High Garden. Yeah, I was definitely worried for Tyrion because... Yeah. Here's the thing. Tyrion was my favorite character up until this season, but this season he's kind of disappointed me because, you know, he used to be the smartest guy, really, and could figure out other people, but yeah. now it's just like he's falling for traps, It's the, it's the wine. He it's drinks too wine. much, and I haven't seen him read since season one when he was reading when he was traveling with John up north. And Tyrion was like, I need books like A Sword Needs a Whetstone. That's why I read John. So I was like, I haven't seen him read since. So, so people, I saw someone post this today. People were mad at the show seasons like one through five. Like when Lady died, when Sansa's... Uh, oh, Dire Wolf. Lady. When Lady died, they were mad, but they weren't mad at the show writers. They're mad at the characters because the characters uh, were so well written and they had so much time to explain their motives mm -hmm. that that's what you're mad at. Like when Ned Stark got his head uh, cut off, you weren't mad at, oh, screw the show. Uh, you're mad at Joffrey and Cersei for mm -hmm. orchestrating it and Littlefinger. Um, but now it seems like, okay, um, what's the dragon that died? Rhaegal. So Rhaegal died. You're not really mad at Euron. You're mad at the writers for saying, why did you let Danny not see? Yep. She's up in the sky. How did she not see it? And then there's the complaint of um, the fact that they were able to get Rhaegal for the first three shots and then completely miss. Right. <laughs> what was Danny doing when she was just like going straight at the ship? I was like, what are you doing? Are you going to say Jakarius soon mm -hmm. because they have everything pointed at you yeah that was and then she just veers off that was strange when Rhaegal was shot three times that wasn't Euron all three was it no no way no way yeah there's because no that was way. Tch, tch, I, was I really assume that it wasn't just him for sure just because of I, yeah, I don't no know way. I don't want to be realistic because we're talking about a show that has dragons yeah. but it's like 
How long would it take to put an arrow back? I hope know? a long time or else this battle's already over. Right? They have no shot. So one of the things that I want to talk about, do you feel like a lot of things happened off camera that you wish happened uh, on camera? Did you read my notes? Oh my no, gosh. No, I didn't. <laughs> yes, and I've been okay with it. That Like movies, you see movies and shows, yeah. they do this all the time to save time in the show. But it if, seems like this episode, they did it multiple times. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So like... They did it when... Go ahead. Um, when John was revealing to his sisters, and by John I mean Bran because yeah through brand through brand um who he was that was off camera it's your choice yeah and i wanted to see that on camera i would love to see their reactions that, like maybe that also explains why aria just suddenly left again you know even though she does have her list but i mean she is going down south yeah i think with everyone she went with the hound oh i love that i, I, that I do later. love that part. i have that set up to talk um, about later and then Masande getting kidnapped that happened off screen yeah. too Which, that we didn't realize it until they got there i thought okay well maybe she died but at the same time i feel like they would have made a big deal if she died mm -hmm. so then later on it's like captured i like that because it set up for cersei's awesome one-liner when she was walking out of the room after just being told that the dragon had been killed and she's walking out she's like so much for the breaker of chains and Miss Andes in chains. Yep. That was so yep. good. I thought that that was good too. I was just like. So yeah, that happening off screen, I was totally okay with. But Arya and Sansa being told off screen. Yeah, I would have loved to see their reaction. So most in most movies and TV shows, you do that to save time. And if it's information that the viewers already seen, they're like, okay, I can I can assume how that reaction is going to take place. Yeah. But this one, there's two different. Like, you grew up with these people. This is the major plot point in the whole show. Mm -hmm. You can't skip out on this. We saw Danny's reaction. We stayed for John's reaction. Uh, I'm sure there's others. Well, I mean, not many I'm people. I'm sure know. Bran wouldn't have a reaction. Let's be Sam's honest. Sam's reaction. <laughs> yeah, Bran. Bran already. <laughs> Yeah, we got everyone's reaction, but theirs. theirs. Oh, and then we didn't get Tyrion's, because they cut, like, later on, Sansa tells Tyrion, um, what if there's someone better? Yeah. She just tells the secret that she promised not to... I don't like Sansa this, this season. Sansa! Ooh, she's being petty. So petty. Like, you know that the only reason you're alive is because, because of Daenerys. Of exactly, and she... And just shows no appreciation for her at all, are which is very frustrating. Do you want Cersei to keep the throne? I was gonna, I was gonna say that she doesn't trust Danny, but then what is the other option? Cersei. And maybe I, she's, yeah, maybe she's playing the the devil you know is, like, it's the devil you know is better than the devil you don't know or whatever. Maybe, whatever. maybe keep your enemies closer. But at the same time, I just think like. What is Cersei going to do when she finds out that Sans is the Lady of Winterfell? I feel like she would do something horrible because that's Cersei. So, I, I don't know. Sansa, Sansa is definitely being petty. I was watching the end credit, not the end credits, but like that little extra blurb where it was just like, she's a student of Littlefinger, so that's why she told Tyrion to get in his head because she knows that they're going to tell all these different people. But I feel like Varys... That would, that's such a Littlefinger move. Mm -hmm. I feel like Varys, though had an idea when they were all celebrating and Tormund was just like who does that who rides a dragon and then Varys is over there just kind of like oh because in legend only Targaryens can ride dragons so oh yeah. yeah so it's like maybe he had his suspicions yeah and then, but he definitely knows now yeah so. for sure but I will say I don't and with how many birds that Varys has the whole seven kingdoms knows already yeah pretty much so that'll be interesting as to how that's going to play out. But Varys, I am not a fan of his wishy-washy nature, I guess is the way that I'm going to say it. Like, yes, he wants to do what is best for the realm, but he just also jumps from person to person to person rather than trying to see whether or not that person will be able to be... What he wants them exactly. to be. Exactly. And in this case, I feel like I don't like how they're really trying to paint Danny to be the Mad Queen. Like this whole episode, she just was the, so the zoom ins of, on her face where she's like, you know, she, you know what's going on in her yeah, head. Like, she's what am I gonna do about this? So full of emotion and she's acting on that emotion and she's very frustrated. I mean, wouldn't you be frustrated if you lost half your army that could have destroyed Cersei and now you're down half and then you also lose one of your sons because yeah. she considers them her, her dragons her sons. She loses the heir. 
she loses her best friend it's just like she's going through so much that it irritates me that Varys is just kind of like oh she's not fit to be our queen she she's not fit to you know rule the seven kingdoms because she's not you know stable enough or whatever but it's just like I just consider like... what she's going through at this moment you know like yes Jon Snow is more level-headed sure didn't they have a conversation I'm trying to think of this last episode did they have a conversation where he told her you once told me to tell you if you're ever making a mistake Mm -hmm. This is a mistake. Didn't he say that to he her? He did say that to her. And that goes back to, like, the last season when she says, because she actually called him out, how many kings have you served? Mm -hmm. Before you betray me, please tell me that you will come to me and tell me that I'm what I'm doing is a mistake. And that's him doing it. And he did do it, And yes. next step is betraying her. Do you yeah. think he betrays her? Well, he told her that he thought she was making a mistake because it sounds like she's going to essentially kill off thousands of innocent of people to get to the throne. Yeah. Sounds like it. <laughs> um, Definitely looks like it now. But at the same time, Cersei's going to let it happen, which we all know Cersei's a terrible queen. Um, terrible person, really. But I don't know. I'm really hoping that... Because she, she made it known that she wants to break the wheel. And I'm really hoping that something will click in her. That yeah. she's going to realize that that is not breaking the wheel. That's just following it. Yeah. So, who knows? I really hope... I don't know. I, I want Danny to be on the throne. You do? Personally. I do. A after what we've been seeing, I don't know. I don't I, think it's happening. I think it's John now. John now. Uh, I don't know. I just... You know, we went through this whole journey with her. I know. Through her struggles. And here's another thing, too, is that everybody doubted her abilities and she always pulled through so what happens if like that's what the show is trying to do make you doubt her abilities yeah. and then maybe she'll pull through and that is what i'm hoping for i'm just like you've done it so many times now we're doubting you but pull through like and when she does pull through it's so sick yeah so i'm hoping that that's kind of what's happening here but the, her main power like the main thing she she has is a dragon fire and she can't use it mm -mm. On King's Landing, what is she gonna do? She's not gonna go in there, and fight the ha uh, the mountain one on one. The How are they gonna get inside the castle? How is she gonna avoid? Sir Davos. How is she? Oh, his smuggling. Yeah. I feel like that could be an angle. Or Arya, dressing Arya. up as someone. Yeah. Um, Different face. But she can't just fly around the castle because mm -hmm. they have the scorpions. She's gonna get taken out real oh, quick. Oh yeah, for sure. So it. It's not looking good for Danny. Let's just say that. Definitely not. And it just, again, irks me that Cersei is now so OP. And Oh, I love it. Because we need a villain. Before it was like a faceless villain. She's more villain. powerful just... than the Night King, which yes. frustrates me. It frustrates me because it's just like... I, I love having like actual people to hate. The Night King wasn't that fun to hate because we didn't know who he was, what he wanted. But now that we have Cersei back to hate... I love it because it brings me back to like hating Ramsay, hating Joffrey. I Ooh, love having a character that... My hatred that, for Ramsay still uh, burns. Rank them real quick because I ranked them on Twitter last night because oh, I saw did? a post saying the 50 most evil... 50? They ranked 50. I was like, 50? There's 50 evil people in Game of Thrones? But yeah, if you go back, there 50? are 50 villains throughout... Well, more than that because they have to, had to rank and the top are, 50. I was about to say, give me the top five and I'll rank the top five right now well <laughs> i can give you my top five okay who's your top five five i had walter frey Ooh, yes four I four i had little finger three i had ramsey even though ramsey is my favorite i have a bolton flag hanging in my room i <laughs> number Freaking hate ramsey number two is cersei and number one's joffrey because i think joffrey's like the most hated tv character of all time people wanted him dead so much. He was just the perfect You know, actor. I will say, when I first started watching it, I was just like, all right, is he going to die yet? Because And it took, like, four seasons mm -hmm. for him to finally... And then when he did, I was just like... So who was your most hated? Ramsey, I feel like, is my number one hated. Yeah, because he's done so many evil things. Horrible things to Theon, horrible things Sansa. to Sansa. Yeah. yeah. So is it Sansa or Sansa? I, I, I go back and forth, okay. depending on what, what kind of dialect I'm feeling. <laughs> If I'm, if I'm feeling Westerosi, I'll say Sansa. So another negative from the show 
hate to be negative. I have a list of positives, but let's just get these out of the way. Negative, Danny not seeing the f- Iron Fleet. When she's so high up in the sky, mm-hmm. how did she not see that fleet? Especially since before they went back to Dragonstone, they were talking about, you know, the strengths of Cersei's army, and then it's like, they're strong on water because they have the Iron Fleet. It's like, you would think did you see that the, she'd be wary about that. Did or? you see the interview with one of the creators after the show. No. He said, I guess uh, Danny just forgot about the the Iron Fleet. I was like, How can you No, be- you forgot about the Iron Fleet. Don't don't blame Danny. Don't it was blame you. Danny. Danny knows about the Iron Fleet. Danny's smart enough to remember that. Ugh. But yeah. Or Bran? Can Bran not go like scout him out? They're not using Bran effectively. No. He is not being How used. How far can he warg? I'm sure as far as he wants. I feel like that too, if he was able to especially see everything from the past. I think he can take a raven and go any... So go down to King's Landing. Scope him out. Come on, Bran. Poop on Cersei's food, get her sick, or, or in her wine. I don't think she eats. I think she's on a wine diet. Even though she's pregnant. They had a, uh, yeah. <laughs> they had a uh, graphic, IGN did, I'll put it right here, of... The they've counted the most wine glasses every character has taken. Is Cersei on top with that? Would that be your guess? Think about Ooh, it for a second. Her or Tyrion? <laughs> <laughs> I feel like Cersei. It's actually Tyrion. Really? And he blows everyone out of the water. He's he, like an alcoholic. Cersei's next. She's a, a functioning alcoholic, and then they just they, and then they everyone like a little bit below them. The only reason why I assume Cersei, because I know that Tyrion is an alcoholic, is because these past couple seasons, it doesn't seem like he was drinking as much as Cersei was, because it seemed like, again, these past couple seasons, Cersei was always drinking. Yeah, she's always got to... Yeah. Because she can't do anything. She's in the Red Keep all the time, so what's there to do? She just drinks wine. Jon's goodbye to Ghost was incredibly underwhelming and sad. I just want to say that we all know what Jon Snow lost when he came back from the dead. His heart. Yeah. I mean, how this dire wolf has been with him through so much. When he was dead, Ghost was there at his bedside, just not letting anyone really near his body that, well, that's not true. He let good good people near mm-hmm. his body and whatnot, but he never left his side. And he's done so much for John, and John, it just, to me, it feels like John was just, I want to get rid of you now. Goodbye. He had a point. He probably wouldn't like it down south because it's a dire wolf. He likes the north. Let well, him stay, let him stay at Winterfell. Exactly, Winterfell. let him stay at Winterfell. I mean, that's the house sigil. And He could goodbye. be with Bran. He could be with Sansa. And say goodbye to him. Right? No, he just looks at him oh. and just walks off. It's like there's no emotional goodbye for and I don't everything think, that this dog has done for you. And I don't think that that's John's character. No, no. So I'm, I'm, I'm his heart. giving... I'm serious. His heart died. I'm giving him the benefit of the doubt. I'm blaming it on the writers, not you, John. But I do like that he's going with Tormund. Yeah. I guess. Speaking of Tormund, his heart was broken this I know. episode. Everyone's just breaking. Everyone's heart's getting broken. This is a good episode because we went through a lot of emotions. I was stressed. I was scared. I was Shocked. heartbroken. I was, uh, like, that feeling you get, like, when Arya and the Hound are talking or Sansa and the Hound I are talking. I loved that with Arya and the Hound. Yeah. I love how they're going together because mm-hmm. it's like old times. I assume they're riding together. The only drawback I see of Arya and the Hound going together is we're not going to have a long enough season to like watch their journey. I would love to watch their journey again down south. Yeah. Like them just like kicking. Plus they're two different people. Yeah. Than they were before. Uh huh. Totally. He has more of a heart. And Arya doesn't. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's funny. They like kind of swapped. Right. Oh, I love. <laughs> I saw something funny. Someone mentioned something where it was just like, what is the first thing that Gendry does? He prof- or professes his love to a Stark and gets rejected. He's like, yep, he's a Baratheon. Yeah, yeah, exactly what Robert <laughs> tried to do. Yeah. Poor fella. Oh, and then also just how there wasn't really much of a celebration with the fact that she killed the Night King. Yeah. It was just like Daenerys mentioned it briefly. She but said, uh, savior of... Uh, the Seven Kingdoms or something, which I was, and everyone's like, yeah, and you actually saw a shot of uh, Clegane 
uh, the hound. He was smiling. I loved it. Mm -hmm. um, I also love Sansa's interaction with the hound. That was so good. And she grabs her hand because he says, I'm sorry. If, if you came with me, none of that would have happened. Mm -hmm. And he's right. Because when he left King's Landing, I think he said, let's go. She refused. And she goes through all this hell because she leaves with Littlefinger. And she's right. She says, I would, still be, I would still be <laughs> that little bird mm -hmm. that I was when you left me. Yeah, and now she's... Now she's a cold-hearted... Oh, my God. She's cold. She For is, sure. She's... Everyone is rubbed off on her. She has Cersei in her. She has Littlefinger. I don't know if she has Ramsay. Maybe she kills someone. Maybe she... Flays someone alive. I think about it now. Ramsay, definitely my number yeah. one hated. <laughs> <laughs> he did the most brutal things. Yes, for sure. Um, positives of the episode. Probably my favorite episode of the season... I loved the fact, okay, I don't, this is like a love-hate thing. I love Jamie and Brienne. I did too. And I love Jamie going down to King's, because when he said he was staying behind, I was like, no, no, you have to fulfill the prophecy. You have to kill Cersei. Mm -hmm. So when I saw him finally getting on his horse, I was happy. But what he said to Brienne was confusing, because it's made it sound like he's going to kill, or he's going to save Cersei. I think the way that I took it when I first watched it was he was hateful for what she's done because they got word back what happened. The dragon died. Um, they had Wasande. So I feel like in my head, I took it as him being hateful, angry at Cersei. I, and he's going down there to essentially get revenge. That's... I think the way to take it if you think that he's going to kill her. I do, because I he do said, think he is. Because he said, she's a hateful woman. And I'm a hateful and man. And I'm a hateful man. Yeah. Oh, if, but the things he said leading up to that was... It wasn't... I didn't take it like he was, you know, justifying him and her being together or anything like that or his love for her. It, I took it as, you know, Cersei is hateful. She's done so much bad things. He's also done a lot of bad things. But I feel like... After he left her to go to the north, that's when his loyalty stopped for her. Um, I love the whole you. the whole dinner scene that it opened with, but mm -hmm. it was like really scary because it gave me feeling of like the red wedding because everyone was happy. Oh. I was like, oh, we're having a happy moment. Um, same kind of shots. It was very eerie. Um, and the cup. Yeah, and the cup, which <laughs> actually isn't there anymore. So if you want to, yeah, just then I'll cut there. Yeah, they edited out. Um, yeah, so HBO edited out. Internet was fuming uh, with laughter and anger over them accidentally forgetting a coffee cup, in which everyone thought was Starbucks. Which is Starbucks just have have that. They didn't pay anything for that. Mm -hmm. HBO has no commercials and they have no ad placement because it's. Medieval. I was just thinking about that. I was like, there is no product placement at all in the show, no. except for IKEA apparently with the rugs. Really. I don't really know if it's Ikea, funny. but they say that, that jokingly that Jon Snow is just wearing a bunch of Ikea rugs. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so yeah, and then Starbucks just is just money. Like, oh my gosh, there's a coffee cup, which is not even ours. It's like a local coffee cup, coffee store, wherever they were filming. And then everyone obviously thinks it's Starbucks. It's mm -hmm. funny. It looked photoshopped, honestly, when people were making a big deal out of it. Because I didn't notice it at all in the episode. Yeah, I didn't either. Then when I was looking at the photos, I was just like... That looks like it's photoshopped. Yeah. It I, has I, to be. Yeah. But I, I didn't believe it at first. They're like, no way. They have been working on this for two years, and they hired like police to police the sky to make sure no one flies over the shooting, so there's no spoilers. And no one saw that coffee cup. No, oh, <laughs> that's crazy. The drinking game that Tyrion and that was Brienne. Fun. I love that because they they played that like four times this series, and it's always so much fun. And then it ended and then it with escalated. Yeah, to the, Brienne and Jamie in bed, mm -hmm. which was which was what I everyone's just, been waiting for. I just want to say that scene. I was laughing because it just seems like I don't know. I don't know how to describe it. Just Jamie's like, oh, it's hot in here. It was oh, very, isn't it hot in here? And it's just yeah, like that's it was crazy. very like high schoolish. Yeah, exactly. I just thought that was funny. And I didn't think that was going to happen. I did think that their love was just um, 
platonic and like a friendship love mm -hmm. and like look at all we've been through i didn't think it was actually romantic which is well it goes to show his character development yeah and i hope they don't ruin it like i hope he is going down south to kill so why not just tell brianne that why be so uh cryptic with what you're telling her because she's crying why is she crying because he's leaving or she because thinks she thinks he's leaving her i think she thinks that he's leaving her for Cersei. Because that... they made it seem like that a hundred percent. It was it was confusing, it wasn't clear enough. Which yeah. which is probably what they intend, because they, they don't want to give away that he's killing Cersei. But we all know he's going to. Hopefully. That's what I put on my little sheet that Would you be okay if Arya kills Cersei no. if she's if she's dressed as Jamie? Jamie? That means Jamie died. It does. But not everyone's that means gonna that live. Jamie... That's true. I I really would not be okay if Arya got the kill. I mean, yes, it would it would be satisfying in the terms of Cersei's on the top of her list, but she already got the Night King. I'm just like. So looking forward to next episode. If you don't watch trailers, stop watching. If you made it this far, actually just keep watching because you made it this far. Woohoo! <laughs> um, you watch the trailer for the next episode. Uh, so the main question that people have is, what is Euron looking at in the sky? Is it just a dragon? Ooh. Because why would they put it there? And why would he be like so mesmerized? Why wouldn't he be getting behind a scorpion? Because he's already seen a dragon. He's seen a dragon. Yeah. He should be prepared for it. So what's he looking at? Is it... An elephant. In a, a flying <laughs> elephant, yeah. So she's Just finally kidding. getting a wish. Um, there was a funny meme I saw that... Um, oh, what was it? What was it? What was it? Oh. So looking forward to the next... So do you, there... There are theories that Drogon has armor. Hmm. Armor on. There are theories that there are more dragons. That Drogon had baby dragons. Okay. For so that season he was missing. Speaking of the more dragons part. So you know with the intro, how it kind of shows us what's going to be happening or what's happening in the kind show? Of, yeah. There's a part of it where there are four dragons. And I was curious about that. I'm like, why are there four dragons? So, I don't know, maybe maybe there's going to be more. Also, <sighs> that'd be interesting. Yeah, if there was one, but mm -hmm. the CGI budget. They already killed off Rhaegal, and Ghost is gone, yeah. so <gasps> there you go. Maybe that's what they're doing. Maybe. They're, they're making room for... A couple more dragons, more. maybe. I don't know. Um, episode 5 is the episode that yeah, Amelia one. Clark is super excited about, yeah, so... Find the biggest TV. Um, there's another theory. I didn't even think about that till now with the more dragons part. Yeah, they said that Drogon at one point had um, babies when they were in Essos. Huh. There's also a theory that maybe the, um, what are they called? The Second Sons will be assisting. I was wondering where they were, honestly. Like why? Can we ask them for help? Yeah. The army is depleted. Yeah, exactly. I don't know how... The preview shows John standing Tyrion with their army in front of them, facing King's Landing with their army. They have no shot. Mm-mm. What's going to be the equalizer? Do you think Cersei would even let Danny destroy King's Landing? Or will she just set off the, the fire underneath and destroy it herself. I think she would do that before she let anyone kill her or before she let Danny kill her. So it's something to think about. Cersei was like, let all these people in, show them that Daenerys is bad for killing all of them. And then there was Danny saying, well, make it known that I'm making an effort with her mm -hmm. so that thousands of people don't have to die. And yeah. if they do die, it's Cersei's it's, fault. Yeah. That's a good question. And do you think Varys is going to betray Danny? I think it's going to look like he's going to. Like, his look with Tyrion was like, we have to kill her. I know. And Tyrion was like, don't. And he said, I've spoken as honestly as I can. I was like, oh no. If Varys wants something. Remember when Melisandre said that we both have to die in this strange country to Varys? Mm-hmm. Maybe he'll attempt to. And then he'll I don't. Yeah, I don't think Varys is going to live. Although I love him. But he, if, if he betrays him, he's betraying him for John. 
Yes, he would be. My question is, do you think Daenerys is going to turn on Jon and try to eliminate him? She has to wait till the war is won, if she does. I think that might be what the last episode is about. Mm -hmm. Like, all right, now who sits on the throne? Yeah. Yeah. It'll be interesting. Yeah, for sure. Thank you all for watching. Do you have any last comments, suggestions, fears, anxieties? Um, let me look. Oh. A lot of people don't like Bran, but I'm, I'm loving him this oh, season. Oh, me too. <laughs> people are like, oh, what is he doing? I... His one-liners are the best. Yes, exactly. He doesn't say much, you but like, what he says uh, you is hang everything. On, you hang on every word. It's like, like all he said was when John, when John was like uh, thinking about what he's gonna tell him. He just says, "It's your choice," and everyone's like, "Oh my God, Brian yeah. spoke!" And then John goes, "You tell them." Yeah. It's just like what uh, he told you to say. All right, guys, leave your comments, suggestions, complaints, uh, what Whoa. you think is gonna happen in the next episode. And if you're the, happy with what you see. The big seen. war. Yeah, the big war. The uh, big no, war. the last war. The last, the war. last war, yeah. All right. See you next time, Vlar Magules. Just say Vlar Doharis. Or it could be Masandre and say Dracarys. <gasps> Dracarys. <Whew. laughs> I'm going to try to do that. I'm going to try to see if I can do that. <laughs>